Well, temperatures today definitely on the cool side compared to normal. We saw that cool air mass over the Great Lakes yesterday. It has shifted toward New England today. Parts of northern New England have been stuck in the 40s all day, but at least here in western Mass and the Connecticut River Valley, temperatures have managed to get close to 60. But this extends all the way down to Philadelphia, D.C., Pittsburgh. Everybody is on the cool side today thanks to this big dip in the jet stream. But as you know, quickly as it's dipping through, it's actually going to be on its way out. We're going to start transitioning to a warmer air mass as we go into the upcoming weekend. Just looking at the last 24 hours, this is where all that cold air was yesterday. So they've already rebounded by 10 degrees since yesterday, and that's expected to continue as the weekend goes on. Same thing's going to happen for us. We're just a day behind. So today we're dealing with cooler temperatures compared to this time yesterday, but tomorrow we should be back up at least a few degrees. And then by you know Sunday and Monday, we're going to be up significantly. But tonight, another night where a lot of southern New England is under freeze warnings. Now, we don't have any across Western Mass yet because our growing season hasn't begun. Once our growing season gets started, that's when we start seeing the advisories, the watches, warnings for freezes and for frost. Right now, that includes a good chunk of Connecticut, all of Rhode Island, southeast Mass, and all the way up the eastern shoreline. So temperatures there are expected to get down below freezing again tonight with the potential for frost, too. Growing season for Western Mass gets started next Wednesday on May 1st for Hamden in Eastern Hampshire County. It's another week plus until Franklin, Western Hampshire and Berkshire counties go over. That happens on May 11th. So it's, you know, pretty much always right after Mother's Day. Take a look right now. High pressure is in control. It continues building down from southern Canada, ushering in that chillier air. Once it moves overhead tonight, winds should go light to even calm. We're going to keep clear skies, and that's going to allow those temperatures to get colder. Now, with the lack of wind during the overnight hours, that is a better chance for frost. I think temperatures might be similar to where they were last night or potentially even a little bit colder. So by 9 p.m., we're already, you know, falling quickly through the 40s. We'll get back into the 30s, I think, even before midnight if wind gets light quick enough. And then tomorrow morning, widespread middle to upper 20s expected with the potential for some slightly colder locations. So a big chill. Your heater, I'm sure, will be on. You're going to have to, you know, get out there and turn your heat on in your car, something many of us haven't had to do for a while now. Full sunshine expected for Friday, so temperatures will climb fast. Almost 50 by 10 a.m. And then we keep going and we should hit low 60s for the valley tomorrow afternoon. And we may actually get close in the Berkshires too. A couple of high clouds here and there, fair weather clouds, but doubtful we'll have much cloud cover again tomorrow at all. So a bigger warm up expected for tomorrow, but just by a couple of degrees. It gets more significant for the weekend. Saturday, we're approaching middle 60s in the Connecticut River Valley. It'll be chillier on Saturday along the south coast due to breezes coming up out of the south and off the water. And then Sunday, pretty much the same story, except it looks like southeastern Mass, the Cape and Islands, they will be the chillier spot, and we could potentially get into the lower 70s. But there is a warm front coming through in the morning that has a chance for some showers. Those showers could actually get started Saturday night now, but it's very light rain. We're not expecting much. I would say less than a quarter of an inch, possibly only around a tenth of an inch. We'll keep cloud cover on Sunday, but it's definitely not a washout. Certainly more dry than wet weather this weekend. Sunday approaching 70, Monday approaching 80. Tuesday, chance for a late day shower or storm of the passing cold front. We're still very warm through midweek. We have some shower activity Thursday and Friday, and then we dry out and cool off a bit for the weekend. Chris and Abby.